Today we're going to look at the marketing chain, also known as supply chain for beef cattle. This pretty much details how the animal is sold um, from where it is originally produced, so your cow and calf units, which are your producers, through to how it's processed and then on to how it ends up on a consumer's plate. So the first step in the chain is obviously the producers. So these are the guys that have the cow and calf units that breed um, breed the calves, which are then eventually destined to go for slaughter. Now, the next step in the chain is the backgrounders. So they use, well, the producers use agents generally, whose job is to source livestock and facilitate the buying and selling of livestock. And the role of backgrounders is to buy in these young stock from breeders and either finish them on grass or fatten them up enough so that they can be finished on grain later on. So commission buyers are the intermediaries in this case that buy usually um, on commission, obviously, for feedlots. So finishers are feedlots, and their job is to buy, um, buy in stock, finish them on grain, and then um, they go on to be slaughtered. So your processes are your abattoirs. I probably have spelt that wrong. But they're your next step in the chain. Now, not all of these steps have to actually exist. Plenty of people who are producers that have enough grass or grain on site to be able to finish it will sell directly to an abattoir rather than um, go through these other steps. But in some instances, it can be quite a, a lengthy process if they're going from producers to backgrounders to finishers and then on to processors as well. Um, some people will sell directly to feedlots instead of um, over the hooks is what it's called to processors. During processing, it usually goes, depends on whether it goes one of two ways. So if it's going export, which is overseas, it can be frozen or chilled as whole carcasses or um, divided into primal cuts and shipped in primal cuts. Um, if it's for the trade or domestic market, um, it's usually divided into primals and then further divided along and then it goes to for, basically to wholesalers. So they're the intermediaries between the processors and the retailers. So your retailers are your butchers, your supermarkets, those sort of people. Um, they also could include uh, your food service industry. So restaurants uh, will often buy directly off wholesalers as well. Um, and then obviously they come directly to consumers too on your plate, whether it be at a restaurant, at home, at a barbecue, um, etc.